This is the International Space Station Flight Control Room at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, where a team is uh, watching over the activities as the Expedition 30 crew wraps up their uh, busy week on orbit. Commander Dan Burbank, Flight Engineers Anton Shkatlerov and Anatoly Ivanishin, Oleg Kononenko, Andre Kalpers, and Don Pettit stood by on Wednesday as the automated transfer vehicle docked to the aft end of the station to the uh, Zvezda module. The uh, ATV Eduardo Amaldi was launched from uh, Kourou in French Guiana the Thursday of the previous week, carrying more than seven tons of supplies for the space station crew. The European Space Agency and the Russian flight control teams did spend time on Friday working an issue to make sure that the station's systems will be able to provide enough power to the cargo ship during a period when the solar beta angle will keep ATV from generating enough power of its own through its solar arrays. The food, water, fuel, clothes, hardware, and experiment materials and other supplies that are inside ATV will ultimately be unloaded and staged in the uh, permanent multipurpose module. The empty space in ATV will be filled with trash and unneeded items that will all be destroyed when the ship is undocked. Last Saturday morning, the crew members did have to uh, get up a little early. They were ordered to spend time sheltering in place in their Soyuz vehicles during the closest approach of a piece of satellite debris, which passed safely by the International Space Station at about 2.38 Houston time that day. The first tracking of that hunk of a, a Cosmos satellite had come the prior day, too late to actually plan and then execute a debris avoidance maneuver and move the entire station out of the way. It is the, just the third time that a station crew has had to shelter in a Soyuz for a possible conjunction with debris. Throughout the week, flight engineers Anton Shkaplerov and Anatoly Ivanishin worked on a Russian experiment that tests out principles and methods for controlling leaks inside a spacecraft. And their colleague Alan Kononenko spent time throughout the week on Earth observation photography, plus a Russian experiment in which the crew members can measure carbon dioxide and methane in the Earth's atmosphere. On Thursday, Kononenko, Kalpers, and Pettit had a Soyuz emergency egress drill in which they routinely, they practiced the steps that they would have to take if they were called upon to make an emergency departure from the station. Uh, these three crew members are due to remain in orbit until July. Pettit joined uh, Dan Burbank during the week in routing cables inside the Destiny Laboratory for the new high-rate communication system which will add additional voice and video channels to improve communications between the station and the ground. Burbank also spent time working with the VO2 max experiment, which is a way to measure the maximum oxygen uptake of a crew member. It's part of the overall careful monitoring plan of all of the crew members to get more information to find out just how prolonged exposure in a microgravity environment impacts the human health. Pettit also conducted the first experiment operations with BAS, which stands for Burning and Suppression of Solids. That experiment is looking at both the burning characteristics and the extinction characteristics of a variety of different fuels. They're looking to find out more about how different things burn in microgravity and how they burn differently than they do on Earth. That's all a way of guiding the development of new strategies for extinguishing accidental fires on board a spacecraft, as well as adding to data to the models that are developing uh, fire extinguishing techniques for use here on Earth. The full crew wrapped up a week with a review of emergency procedures that are specific to the automated transfer vehicle, and then looked ahead to an off-duty weekend with a chance for conferences with their families and some rest before getting back to the business of space exploration come Monday morning.